Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are talking about Brigandine Grand Edition. Now, this is the default Grand Edition, and the topic came up in the Brigandine Discord, uh, which I would advise you to check out if you'd like. Uh, it came up that cross-classing can be a little bit confusing, and I decided to try to take a stab at giving sort of a quick explanation of the advantages that it offers. So, Rangunus, when you get him as the Empire, starts off as a level 16 Elementalist, right? This is what his class would normally be. This is his abilities list, right? So he's got Runic Staff, he's got Flame, Genoblast, you know, all of this stuff, right? I'm not reading it right, but you get the point. You can read this. Now... If you make him into a priest, he's technically a lower star thing. But notice how he's got all of his elementalist spells here? Well, that's interesting. It's because if you see the little expert tab there under his name, it's not there on this class, it's there on this one on the left hand side. Uh, you can see how it's. Well, it says expert which means you keep those skills no matter what class you are. So if he flips down to Priest, he picks up Heal and Cleanse, which is a nice thing to have for any spellcaster in this game, because, hey, range of three, range of four, right? It gives you a lot of options. And if you're close to use Geno Flames, well, now you can really heal your front line pretty well. Oh, but wait, when is the situation that you should not cross class? I'm a big believer in the uh, sunken cost fallacy. Um, you notice how Paradol has a star above his head, that means he's one point in. Uh, basically, if you do five levels in a class, you become an expert. He's done one. He's already one in. So, switching him to something else will keep his lower class's abilities, right? So I can make him a Pyromancer with Heal and Genoflame, and that's great. But as it stands, as a bishop, he has something that can do damage if he needs to, if he can get close. He's got something that can do a lot of healing, which is experience. So there's no real reason to switch him off of this in terms of generating experience, which is really a nice thing to keep in the back of your mind when you're playing this game in a campaign setting. Um, yeah, it's just not really a great advantage to switch him over until he's hit Expert in Bishop. At which point, yes, he might have Cardinal abilities available and you might want to pursue those first too, but eventually he'll have Expert in whatever it is and you can switch him off for five levels. Meaning once he becomes Cardinal, I can switch him for five levels and still keep the Bishop powers, which are great. So, then you can get Cardinal, expert that out, you're good, because you have to go 5 levels to expert, 10 levels to class change, in case that's not clear. Picture a ladder, and step 5 gets you the expert so you can switch to the other class, step 10 gets you the expert in that other class you can switch to either main class basically and then advance forward in that line all the way down this is better for mages than it is for melee people because mages have area of effect spells that can generate a lot of experience quickly and that's one of the things you look for in when you're setting up a turn is the if you can economize kills you can economize experience gain and then you can account you can like lower two monsters down to low health do an area of effect spell kill those two monsters and power level your knight which is how you keep generating new abilities on the battlefield and become extremely deadly long term so shout out to the uh brigandine discord for opening this conversation um shout out to folks like uh Veracity Trigger, who puts together so much story stuff, Falcos Lunari, who explores other patches, everyone in the community who pitches in, thank you all very much. If you enjoyed this 
video and you want to see more like it, please hit the like, share, subscribe, follow buttons. It really does help this channel grow. It lets me know that people are supporting it so I can keep making more of it. And as always on this channel, La Paz.